Good morning. I hope you had a good weekend. So before I get into the actual painting with alcohol inks, I just want to warn you about some health hazards that might occur when using alcohol inks, more precisely about isopropyl alcohol and the alcohol blending solution. They can be pretty nasty <laughs> and I would urge you to take the necessary precautions especially for people that have already respiratory problems. Inhaling the fumes of these products can present some health issues. And I have to tell you that while I was working on this painting, I was wearing a mask. I also had a window open and I had a fan in my kitchen going on. Mind you, I'm working in a very small space, but I had to stop a few times. Um, and get out of the room and go and breathe some fresh air and I was being super careful. I was manipulating um, a hair dryer and so of course that kind of moved the fumes even more and maybe that's why I felt the uh, the effects more but regardless I would hate for you to um, to use these products and not be warned in advance and I know that this might go against what I'm showing you right now but please be careful and you might want to go and do some research look it up on the internet uh, find out what the specifics about the hazards are I'm not going to go into details here but I think it's very important to go in um, with a clear mind and alcohol inks might not be for you as I said I know that it's quite damaging to people that already have respiratory problems. A couple of notes before I leave you with some music. I am taping a piece of Yupo paper onto plexiglass and that just uh, offered additional support because Yupo is flimsy and I needed to, the ability to flip it around, not flip it around, but tilt it and rotate it and do all kinds of tricks. So that offered additional support. You don't have to use plexiglass. You can use a piece of glass. Uh, you can use metal. Anything that's not porous and that is rigid will work. And if you're using a hair dryer like I'm doing, make sure you're on the cool setting <laughs> because Yupo is plastic. And if you take heat to it, it will warp and you will never get it straight again. Also, the scotch shape that I used to hold the paper down is cheap. It's from the dollar store and it worked beautifully and it left a nice white border all around the painting. I also want to mention that I'm not an experienced artist when it comes to alcohol inks. I'm still in the discovery stage. This time around, I used uh, different methods. So I'm still learning. And of course, I've enjoyed the process. But uh, just be aware that I'm sure I've made a few mistakes. So for those of you that are experienced with the medium, any suggestions uh, would be welcome. And I have not done real-time commentary this time around because of the background noise that I was dealing with. So I'll be back at the end to talk about my experience. In the meantime, enjoy the video.
Now this other piece is something completely different, but I love it as well. And to my surprise, I started seeing that kind of like a, a lady shape in the middle here. She seems to be floating, maybe she is, but it's kind of like an abstract piece at the same time. Uh, I love the effect of one black tree and what I did after I did the lines with the pen, I went back in with the uh, fillable pen and I sort of removed a little bit of the green from the tree underneath so that it looks more like in the foreground. Um, and like I said, I like the idea of one black tree. I love how this turned out. I wish I could replicate this. This was a fluke. Uh, to me, this looks like a waterfall. I love the sky. I love everything about it except these things, which I think I was probably trying to do something here and I forgot about it. I went to a different place and then all of a sudden it's like, oh, I can't really touch that anymore. But whatever, it's there. It doesn't really... It doesn't bother me. This is more of an abstract piece as well, except for that lady, which I, I had to work quite a bit to make her appear, but so that she doesn't look too different from the rest of the painting. But um, anyways, that's it for my alcohol ink video. Again, again, please proceed with caution when you are using alcohol inks. I'm not sure when I'll be doing another video with the inks. I don't know, I can't promise you anything, but I hope that you've enjoyed this one. As usual, if you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them below. Also, if you wanna share your experiences with alcohol inks or photos of your artwork inspired by what you just saw, uh, make sure that you tag me at CreationCC on Facebook and Instagram. I'd love to see what you come up with or hear your thoughts on it. I want to say a huge thank you for the support that I'm getting from my awesome patrons over at Patreon. You guys are awesome. Thanks so much for watching. Have a creative day and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.